Well guys, exclusive brand new loading screen. This is DLC only content right here. We get an exclusive look at the back of the vault. Looks a lot like well the backs of, of most of the other vaults, actually. With that uh that eighty eight looks the same upside down and right side up. Welcome back guys, Daniel here with uh, the second part of our look at the Vault Tech Workshop. Cool, stepping immediately. You know, you gotta start with action, with a with a mine that a lot, of, a lot of cars are about to explode. There's one for, okay. How's that for, uh, for a video start, huh? Uh, we're at Hallucigen. And we are doing the quest, the watering hole which includes getting chemical research for Valerie, the overseer back at Vault 88. Now I wanna know, is this, oh, the railroad's been here. Yeah, danger, but it looks like it's been taken care of. Anyways, what I wanna know with this, with this DLC is, you know, it's $4.99, not exactly expensive. The price of a cup of coffee is what everybody else throws around with uh, prices like these. Uh, you know, it, do you drink coffee? What, do you have anything to compare that to? Why is it so smoky in here? Somebody left the fog machine on. Somebody was having a Halloween middle school dance. And the chaperones at the end of the night forgot to return the dry ice machine. I don't know why we're not getting radiation damage from, uh, from this. It, it says a chemical leak has been detected, but we seem... A-okay. I don't know if that's on purpose or if we should be taking damage right now. I don't know. Yeah, but basically, <laughs> okay. Is it is it is it worth the $4.99? Is it worth the cup of coffee or the ice cream cone or the can of coke? You know, the $4.99 can, can of coke that you're always buying. Is, is it worth that to you? Or did you get the season pass? I mean, clearly we're getting like a five dollars worth of uh, particle effects here with this with this smog, this non-toxic smog that's not hurting us at all. Even though it's it's a very dangerous chemical leak, we should be evacuating the building while we look for our uh, chemicals. Is she good? Hi. Who who are you? It's okay. I'm a friend. Are you? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. What do I do? What hey, do I that's do? a cool tattoo. Open the door. It'll be all right. No. No, 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 you're just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can just unlock Please the door and then kill her. The building immediately. That's it. Oh, we didn't even have to come in here. The thing we were looking for was uh somewhere else. Sorry, lady. You know, uh that's that's what happens when uh you don't pass those those persuasion checks. Innocent people, they get they get injured. How do we get back down from here? Please evacuate the building. We're fighting a lot of gunners here. Um Gunners are a lot like raiders, except they're, uh, I guess, into military stuff. I'm not sure of the backstory of gunners. It's never really explained. I think they're supposed to be gun runners. They sell guns to people. Somebody's been uh, taking them out, though. Oh, I guess they're turning on each other. Maybe the chemical is making them go crazy. Is that what's supposed to be going on? Y you gotta... Y you gotta infer a lot of stuff when you play a... A former RPG like the Fallout series, because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of do and barely any tell. Shit, they're they're all just gonna fight each other. They're they're stealing our kills, buddy. I'm guessing the chemical that we we get, it's. It's gonna be like some kind of crazy chemical we can use on our vault dwellers. 
What was in the hallucinogen building before this? I, I don't remember. Probably just like a random Brotherhood of Steel fetch quest or, or something like that. Maybe place one of those railroad beacons here. Somehow we're not going crazy. We're not being affected by the gas. I, I, don't, I have no idea what the plot for that is. I have time to like chill out, struggle to pick novice locks. We're we're good. You can't get away. You can't get away. You know, forget immunities. These guys grew up in the wasteland. We're like a fresh person straight out of a vault. We, we have we're, we're probably going to get like some kind of weird dystopic future flu. You know, it's been 200 years. You, you think the common cold has evolved. We don't have the the antibodies to fight it off. Has anyone ever played this this hacking mini game like the actual way? Nice. Probably everyone, right? I'm the only one that goes in and out and just guesses because they couldn't be bothered to like solve a crossword puzzle. Okay, everybody's dead. Oh shit, we just got a taste of the poison. We're going crazy now, I think. It'd be cool if we saw like our wife or Sean or something. We like had some kind of, they put in a little bit of like actual effects instead of just auto killing us if we get too close nick's fine he doesn't need to breathe i guess we get do we get hurt when we go through here yeah health is going down okay what the indeed oh there's an in, there was an invisible dude he's got a hallucinogen key uh, mission brief, a gunner's note, fusion cells, a boosted laser rifle, and oh, some good combat armor. Chemical research, yep. Key, bottle cap. I guess we could have, we needed that key to open some of the doors that we just managed to open because we have higher lock picking. Anyways, we got the shit. We're good to go. Too bad we didn't know we could have just come through this exit door maybe that would have saved us some time let's see where this will pop us out oh you need you need a, a key because we don't have guns or like giant suits of armor that can just break through doors right and, and who knows if we opened this a fire alarm might have sounded but uh yeah good good on them to not place it you know in the middle of 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 the base or in the basement just 10 feet into this doorway. And where did we count come in? We, we came in over there. Okay. D don't mean to metagame or anything, but uh, what the hell? Got some Jon Snow shit going on here. Oh, and we're right near this guy's quest. He's like a cult leader. Again, great great spot to do some uh, some actual storytelling but he's just uh he's just there for a, a a quest where i think you're just getting back some guy's daughter or something anyways that's for another day today though we're going back to uh the overseer we're doing dlc quests that's a that's a regular vanilla quest okay and when you fast travel into the vault you end up not even really in the main vault you end up over here so let's transfer all of our new junk and go talk to, what's her name, Moira? <laughs> That's what it feels like, right? What game are we playing? This is Fallout 4. Shit, where the hell are we? Promise. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Cool. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain. It's a menace. Vault-Tec scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate... What is she talking about? Need, needing to drink? The but thirst? The thirst is real, people. Socialize. Oh, okay. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem. You worry so much, my boy. Everything well, they've been their best friends since we left. Don't you know? We got some oh. serious FOMO going right. on. 
You know, it used to be the three of us, and then we go out to do a little errand. And now they're best friends. That's usually how groups groups end up. Two people end up getting closer. Anyways, uh, what type of chemicals? What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R and D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clint. Indeed. After all, we're with Voltec. That's not ominous so at all. That's I guess that's funny to her, but and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee. Thanks. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Okay. So we had an exercise bike. The next experiment is going to be a soda fountain that makes Clem stupider, or punishes him for socializing, or something. Or maybe it just has those cone paper cups. You know those kinds? I, th I think the point of the cone paper cup on a water cooler is to uh, discourage leaving them around. Like, you can't put them down, so you can't forget them places. Anyways, let's, uh... Let's get this prototype working. I guess the idea is eventually we will build a vault around this space. We're, we're just showing off the experiments here. Oh, that's less colorful than I expected. But it comes... Why is it so... This is... All gray. This is one color, buddy. Got, got a little bit of cola in there, but... This looks unfinished to me. And uh, let's repair this. Do we have all that stuff? Sure, why not? Okay, initializing the soda fountain experiment. We could do an appetite suppressant. We could do a mood enhancer. We could do generic caffeination. Or we could read some notes by Dr. Braun. Dr. Braun is, of course, I learned the, uh, the inventor of the Tranquility Lane quest from Fallout 3. Anyways. After the initial stockpile of food and drink are depleted, vault residents will become accustomed to anything new we give them. This gives us the intriguing possibility of adding chemical supplements to their diet, with them being none the wiser. After much focused testing, we've settled, I thought that said, we've sterilized on the soda fountain. That would be a pretty bad experiment if they just sterilized everybody. The only limit here is our chemical ingenuity. Make vault -Tec proud. So we had to risk our lives going into, like, a heavily gunned up area to get like a slim fast appetite suppressant to get like methamphetamines and then to just get like pepsi max or pib extra basically none of these have uh, the psychotic effects that we were encountering before but let's run this experiment we want uh gee i don't know clem already seems pretty thin he already seems pretty hopped up uh, let's do a mood enhancer. Hallucigen provided us with a small sample of the final product, and it is quite exciting. They made an extremely psychoactive compound that's soluble in water. It creates a short-term euphoria. Euphoria. I think the hardest part about being an adult is you hardly ever have to read out loud anymore. In some cases, remember in school you'd read out loud? You'd read out loud in history class or science class or something. Accidentally pronounce the word organism is orgasm. Everybody freaks out. Surprise. I remember once I was reading in history class about like some kind of atrocity. I think it might have been like the Holocaust or something. And they used the word, the textbook author used the word awesome. Like, like the awesome power of the atom bomb or something. But like. You know, awesome can mean, it's like terrific can mean great, or it can mean like horrific, basically. They're kind of synonymous in that sense. So I'm reading about this horrible tragedy, and I come across awesome, and I, and I start laughing, because in my head, it just the narrator of the book immediately turns into like a surfer dude. Like, this is like a tasty bomb, dude. This is a righteous atom bomb. 
Surprisingly, subjects suffered no withdrawal symptoms, though a substantial predilection to depression after the crash. In a first for our team, absolutely no fatalities. The worst side effect is subject 13, who has been staring at his hand for 13 hours straight. Fascinating. Fascinating. We've established remarkable progress in then synthesizing a Lipstatin derivative. True, the side effects are more pronounced, but the efficiency is remarkable. This is basically, yeah, this is like uh, those flakes you, you sprinkle on your food and they're supposed to make you lose weight, but I think they just make you shit your pants and that's how you lose the weight. I'm just about to give up on Ted. If he parse out his team's elaborate presentation, the active ingredient of supplement Z is just caffeine, plain ordinary caffeine. Unsurprisingly, the test subject suffered no delirious effects. Ted's team spent an inordinate amount of time balancing flavor and carbonation. They actually did focus testing against Nuka-Cola for enhance its appeal. Oh, to enhance its appeal. I must admit it's refreshing. God, I hate Ted. That's funny. I wonder if that's a reference to a Better Off Ted. Better Off Ted was the one about it was it was the sitcom, the comedy about a. Uh, they were like they were like a, a chemical engineering company, right? They did like R and D for chemicals. It was a lot like hallucinogen. I, I'd be willing to bet this is a reference to that. Maybe, who knows? I think we just want to do that one. Actually, it sounds pretty funny. Let Clem serve soda for an hour. Okay, cool. I guess I'm open for business. Not really the most diabolical outcome, but, you know, what can you do? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. How, how do you like that, that pib extra lady? How do you like that tab? I can't imagine this one will explode like the, uh, like the bike will. Make sure to come back. She's over here. The soda Elated. Shows enormous, potential. enormous potential. Finally, we can harness the power of people shooting the breeze, drinking slightly more caffeinated Nuka Cola. This is like one of those uh, those big Coke option machines. What are those Coke freestyle machines where you can press the barely working touch screen to customize your flavor? Oh, we need some water soon. What do you need water for? You got you got soda, lady. Hey, Clem, you wanna give me a soda? I'm kind of I'm thirsty too, dude. I guess we'll eventually get more than two settlers. Who are you? Never mind. I'm new around here. I wanted to introduce myself. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. I'm ready to help with whatever you need. Just say the word. Just wanted to trade a few things. Sure thing. Cool, dude. You're our third guy. Um, hopefully we can get you cleaned up because you look kind of rough around the edges. I don't know how to get them to equip the Pip-Boy. Is that a glitch on my part? Because the lady equipped her is no problem. Maybe if I just leave it in your inventory, you'll eventually use it. Nick. So damn hungry. Can't stand not being the center of attention for one second. I'm not finding the holotapes. I'm talking to, uh... I'm gonna call you Clem. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Nice. We just gave them a good soda. We made them a Keurig cold. We shelled out for a... Yeah, that's the thing. This DLC is, a. Uh... It's the price for a, a cup of coffee or one four-pack of uh, Coca-Cola Keurig cold pods. I, th I think that's what I saw. I watched a video about that once. The Keurig cold, the cold version of the Keurig, the, the coffee maker, if you buy the Coke pods, one box comes with four, and I'm pretty sure it works out to be like a dollar or like two bucks for one eight-ounce glass or something coffee. stupid like that. Well, it does improve productivity, but really, I'm yeah, I'm a lame prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. 
A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. Ooh, I do. I what studied Latin for four years in high school. Community. Runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Oh, wait, uh... Maintain a balance, enough philosophy, times are desperate, the oath is right. Times are desperate. We do what we must to survive. We make what Coke fountain drinks pay? to survive. We American. do what we must. Right. So? Coca-Cola is the American way. Raptor, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes can improve a patient's eyesight but potentially so much Ooh, more x-ray vision the they can see ghosts what's what's the deal well a lot all right a staggering quantity of radioactive material but the results will be worth it where am i going to get that much Shit. material we just screwed up our 100% sarcastic playthrough dude we, we just we just tanked because it because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves so dig deep and get what we need what's the deal vision of the future mine uranium ore build and power the faux so raptor prototype completed the watering hole nice 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 mm, you, you still glad you came dude Okay, do we have enough radioactive material to build it right off the bat? Let's check. We need five more. Let's uh, let's see if we can scrap any of the stuff laying around to get five more bits of uh, whatever we just said we needed. <laughs> radioactive material shit. vault -Tec Super Reactor Platform. That sounds radioactive. And nope. It's got a lot of concrete, though. Uh, Super Reactor Shield. That sounds radioactive. Nope. Got a lot of rubber, though. This sign looks pretty radioactive. Uh, nope, 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 nope. What about this shit? Ice machine, we need that. Hold up. Get this shit out of the way. We're not gonna need that. We need... Ice for our sodas, dude. We, we're getting them cold today. Nice, we got... We got the ice, we got the sodas, we, we're... Are we going to open a, a, a Five Guys Burgers and Fries franchise? Is this going to be a, a sponsored vault in partnership with Five Guys? There's a, there's one, two, three, four, including me. There's five of us right now. We could we could open up our own location. One day I was at a Five Guys, and uh, the girl working there was uh, was serving this other girl her, uh, her food, and the girl getting the food was like, can I ask a question? Um... Is it called Five Guys because there's always five people on staff? And I don't know if that's true. And I don't know if uh, the girl working was like, uh, sure. Like, she didn't really look like she knew. She looked like she wanted to get back to work. But she was like, uh, yeah, that's it. And the girl that asked looked like she had just uncovered, like, the big secret. She was like, I knew it. I knew it. She looked so self-satisfied. It, it sure was, it sure was something. Is this radioactive? Mining helmet? Nope. So I don't know if that is true. It might be, maybe you know. You could let me know. Either way, it's not really the kind of fun fact that's super fun. It's kind of an okay, but slightly underwhelming fact. Okay, guys, that'll actually do it for this episode. Um, need to... Uh, unlock a bit more of the vault to get to that radioactive material, but we will be doing that next time. Hope you liked what you saw today. Leave a like, a subscribe, uh, investigate your local five guys. Oh shit, we found a control board for the E sector. We're just gonna take that. And that is actually gonna unlock what we needed to do to get to this radioactive material. But we'll do that when we come back. Uh, yeah. Keep on, uh, keep on trucking? Why, why am I saying that? I have no idea. Don't, never truck. Stop trucking 
cease trucking immediately. And uh, we'll see you we'll on the next one. All right, bye.